Hey everyone, my name is Emily Roberts. I am a Diamond Plexus Ambassador, and tonight I'm super excited. We have three amazing silver superstars. They're gonna host our call, and they're gonna kinda go in order, share their tips and tricks, and how they became silver with Plexus. That is the first rank. It's a one-time $100 bonus, and that means you've sponsored at least three people onto your team. That's a huge deal. This is a huge milestone in your Plexus business. So if you are brand new, Maybe you just decided to work this business. This video is for you. So I cannot wait. Let's go, let's do this thing. Um, Amber, I'm gonna turn it over to you. I'm so excited to hear from you. Let me go ahead and I'll let you do your thing. Go ahead, my friend. Hey everybody, my name's Amber and yes, I am a Silver Ambassador and it's been an exciting journey so far. I'm super excited to be even just where I'm at and you will be too if you're watching this video and learning how to stay and get um, to a silver rank. So here are the things that's kind of worked for me. Um, I hope this all you know, uh, works really well for all of you. So this is how it works for me. So how it worked is this. So when I first started and trying to figure out who I'm gonna talk to, uh, what strategies I'm gonna have, uh, the, all those types of things, I am a very personal person. I don't know if any of you are that same way, but I like to be one-on-one -on -one with people, be realistic, and get to know them. So how I started off with even just my first person was just getting to know them. So you run into them in the store, you run into them in, the, in um, a shopping mall, you run into them just um, at the park, you know, anything like that. You know, I wanna know what's going on in their life, how they're doing, and that's how I start my conversations. I wanna know, you know, hey, how's it going? You know, how's life, how's the kids? Uh, you know, let that conversation roll. At some point, it's gonna turn into, you know, hey, everything's good, but you know what, how, what's going on with you? Then I start to kind of go in, you know, to what I've been doing. Hey, have you ever heard of Plexus or Plexus Worldwide? And if they kind of have that, you know, kind of look on their face like no, or maybe they have, doesn't matter. I just shrug it off and I just say, hey, you know, this is what's going on with me. This is what it's all about. This is what the company is. Um, you know, when in our conversation, you were kind of talking about this situation or how this is how you're feeling or Whatever the scenario is, we all have our different things with different people. And then that is how I go into my conversation with the people that I want to implement, I think, into my, into my team and to my little Plexus family. So once that happens, they want to see how it's working for you. And I kind of show that with them. Hey, you know what it's been doing for me? This is what it's doing. It is making me feel wonderful. I have full energy all the time. You know what? You were talking about this situation in your life. Let me show you how I can help you with that. Are you interested? And then I let the conversation flow from there. Whether they walk off and they say, you know what? I'm going to just get a hold of you later. We're busy right now. I don't even care. Then I always think that it's very vital and important that you follow up with the people that you've talked to. I like to try and I think it's probably between five and 10 people a day. Um, and my the way my schedule is in my life, I can do it seven days a week uh, because I do um, photography full time. So I'm home. So I can do it as long as I want to. So when I'm out on my walks, and I do them in the morning, uh, I have two hours or so that I'm just walking. So I'm walking and working at the same time. So I'm working my business. Um, I'm uh, contacting people on a regular basis. So like I said, five to 10 people um, is usually what I do one, uh, every day. And then um, after every other day, I will set and go back and follow up with people that I maybe messaged you know, last week or maybe a couple days before. So I always wanna make sure people are thinking that I'm thinking that they're important and I wasn't just coming at them with some type of salesy, you know, speech of some sort. I want them to really feel like I am having a relationship with them. Just for example, I had a girl who um, felt like, you know, she was just having a bad time in her life. She was trying to do all these different things. And I kind of felt like I wanted to reach out to her. And whether Plexus was a thing that happened, it happened. But I went to her and I said, hey, I just want to know I care about you, girl. I just want you to know that I care. What is it that we can talk about today? Well, you know, we were talking about that Plexus stuff. Could we just talk about that? 
absolutely. Yes, we can. So you know, just make it a personable experience. I do have, you do have some of those hard balls where you know, they, uh, you know, want to throw at you, you know, I'm not a salesperson, I don't want to do this. But, you know, here's something that I even threw um, at somebody the other day who tried to really, you know, really push me off and shrug me off, but now they're really, really excited and interested, is this. So you're talking to a girl, a woman, and they're saying, you know what, I don't think Plexus is for me. I'm not a salesperson. I don't want to do it. Uh, I don't know how to talk to people. I can't sell anything. Like they say, I can't even sell ice to an Eskimo. Well, here's what I tell them. Hey, are you ever a person that goes to, I don't know, a clothing store? You find this cute little boutique in, you know, outside of town somewhere, and it's just in like this little hole that nobody even knows it's there. And you're wanting to buy maybe like some jewelry, maybe some shoes, maybe something for your hair, you know, maybe a fedora, you know, anything at all. And you go to them and you say, oh my gosh, this place is so cute. You buy all these different things. You're excited about it, right? You go home. What do you do? You call your girlfriend, you call your sister, you call your mom, you call the, the women's from the church, whoever it is. And you say, oh my gosh, I just found of the gold mine. I found this boutique that is so cute, so exciting. Their clothes are awesome. Their jewelry is awesome. Awesome price. I think you'll like it. You want to know where it is? Where is this place? I got to go. So it's the same thing with the plexus. You are sharing. You're not selling. You share. And this is what I tell everybody who is in this business trying to go silver. Stop trying to throw people all the time. And this is me trying to throw people all the time. Hey, have you heard of this? Well, it's this much. Have you ever heard about being a preferred customer, being a, being a, a wholesale customer? Those are all great. And they do work at the end for me. They work at the end for me. I'm all about sharing with them. I'm all about telling them about things that would reflect their life reflect the situations that they have and then they and then that implements everything else that you've talked to them about so now they're really interested and they're hooked because you have told them everything and you've heard them and then you're also sharing love with them you're loving on them and then they're wanting to fall in love with everything that you're talking about too because it's exciting for them and then and they find hope and what you're talking about. So those are really big, big things about what I do in my business. Um, and I always recommend that if you are trying to go silver or staying silver or whatever the case is, or you have people on your team that are wanting to do so, always remember to follow up with people. Always remember that staying in tune and focused and um, plugged in to everything that's going on your team pages. Uh, watch a bunch of YouTube videos. There are tons out there, and they're so informative. They are. They have helped my business so much now than when I when I had started. When I had first started, I did not have any clue. I've been in sales my entire life. And going into this, I had a totally different perspective than anything else that I've ever done in sales. This is way beyond um, I could possibly imagine. I wish I would have found it sooner. So get on those YouTube videos, watch them. Watch them when you go to bed. Watch them on your lunch hour. Watch them when you get up in the morning, maybe after you do your devotionals or something of that nature. You know, find a friend, hook up with them, have them come over, have a little, you know, YouTube get together and you guys watch these videos together come up with game plans there's just so many great things that you guys can do as a team uh, there's also really great things that you can do as an individual get the books read them about network marketing so find ways that's going to work really great for you because I know that you all can do it I know that um, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it and I did so I hope that what I have just given you um, are great tips and I hope that you guys can implement them into your business. And I know that you guys are going to learn a lot tonight. So now I'm going to pass it on to Denise. Hey, y'all. Can you hear me? Um, I am Denise. I'm from Houston, Texas. I've been in Plexus for about three months. And um, I love to travel. I used to be a flight attendant for two and a half years. I now work at a church. But um, I'm a brand new silver ambassador. I started um, sharing uh, quite a bit here uh, lately. Uh, I'll t I, some of my tips would be be a product of the product. 
Um, this is the easiest thing that we can do. Take our products. We're going to start feeling better. People are going to notice the difference in us. And so they're going to be intrigued and interested in uh, what's going on with us. Also, uh, being uh, excited creates attraction. Seriously, you want to be genuine with, with this. But um, one of the conversations I had uh, lately uh, with a few friends were like, hey, girl, you're not going to believe this. I have been taking, uh, drinking this pink stuff, and it is magic. I stopped uh, drinking my Dr. Pepper. I don't even want them anymore. Um, when I'm talking about um, just being excited about getting um, a commission check, you know, to my friends and family, you know, just be excited. They'll, they will catch on if you're excited. It, it's going to attract people to you. Another thing that works for me is passing out samples and doing follow-up helps people get people on board. I do a sample Saturday, so uh, I have them personal message me, and uh, I, I let them know that I'm going to send them a sample, and uh, I'll be following up within a couple of days to find out how they like the products and get their opinion. Uh, also, like a random person, I might pass out a slim packet and a business card. And so what I'll do is get, I, I, when you're doing that, be sure and get um, their, connect with them on Facebook or get their cell number or email address so that you can um, be, get in touch with them to find out. And you let them know that you're gonna follow up with them in the next couple of days so that you can get their opinion. And so when I'm doing the, the sample Saturday and they're uh, passing out samples to random people, I'm, uh, and all that interaction, I'm building a relationship with them. And I'm, I'm more able to help, um, help them figure out what products might work for them. Another huge, huge thing that helped me get um, a, one of my um, ambassadors this month was participating in a seven day challenge group. This is huge. Uh, the customers are added to a, uh, private Facebook page. And so they're over the seven days, they're fed all kinds of information about the products. And they also get to see testimonials from uh, people that are ambassadors. And so, and those ambassadors are all walks of life. So surely they'll be able to connect with someone in that group. Um, and that might help them think, hey, you know, I think I could probably do this. Um, this this might be this might be a, a thing for me, um, and then my last tip is explaining that the thirty four ninety five uh, signing is just like getting a Costco membership. So you're at the point where they are ready to buy, and so they say, okay, so how much is it? And so you say, okay, this is great. You uh, can uh, purchase the items uh, re at retail cost. You can uh, get them as a preferred customer, which just means you have an ongoing order, which you can um, change the day or uh, when you get them or cancel that order at any time. So it's really no big deal. But the best way uh, to get the products is to become an ambassador. And that's what I did because I wanted the products um, at the wholesale cost. So it's like getting a Costco membership. Um, you get a lot for your buck for a year of $34.95. Um, you, um, you get your products wholesale, you get a website, you get customer support, you get a shipping department, and you get great training. Now, I know this might not be anything that you might want to do as far as selling, but if you did decide to do that, then you would totally get all these great resources. So uh, that so signing as an ambassador is really the best option. So that's my tips. I hope those will help uh, help you, and um, I hope you're able to implement some of those. Uh, and I will turn the call over to Tyler. Hey guys, my name is Tyler Nidell. I live in Austin. I'm 22 years old, and I've actually been with Plexus for about two months. Um, or just a little over two months and I've loved it. I've been taking the products since last year. Um, my upline and very sweet friend Hannah Karen um, is the one that introduced me to them to Plexus. She was our wedding coordinator um, and it was really cool. It was kind of a God thing that 
Um, she came into our life then, and um, and now I'm here, and I'm super excited that Emily asked me to participate in this call. Um, I really hope that y'all can benefit from all of this stuff um, that we're kind of putting out there, um, and we just we want to help y'all. We want to help y'all succeed, help y'all grow your businesses. So my first tip would be to have a three-way call with your upline um, and maybe their upline. If you haven't done that yet, that's something that's super, super helpful. That's something that I actually did within my first few days of joining Plexus. I jumped on a call with Emily and Hannah, and it was really, really great because I got to hear their both of their perspectives individually and um, both of their stories, both of their whys, which it's incredible how different everyone's why is. Everybody has a reason for joining. Everyone has a reason for taking Plexus and a reason for sharing and a reason for wanting to continue and grow their business. Um, so that's really something I would really, really, really recommend that y'all do. And definitely do that for people that join your team as well. Make sure that you're jumping on calls with them, being intentional about um, reaching out to your ambassador when they have an ambassador join their team and say, hey, I want to jump on a call with you and so-and-so sometime this week, let's make it happen. Um, reach out to that person and just really, really, really be intentional about making connections and helping your ambassadors grow their team. Now, going off of that, um, kind of like I think what Amber was talking about, you really want to try to reach out to five to 10 people a day. That's my goal. That's what I do. So when I first started Plexus within the first couple of days, I made my list of every single person I could think of that I wanted to reach out to. And then I continuously have added people to that pretty much on a daily basis. Um, you know, you'll always think of someone or you'll always meet someone new um, that you think, you know, maybe not necessarily would be at the point of wanting to jump in and, and have their own business, but could maybe benefit from the products. You know, um, if you have a friend that gets pregnant or a friend who has just had a baby and is, you know, having trouble keeping up with their baby's feeding schedules, just shoot them a text or call them or send them a sample and say, Hey, I really want you to try this. I think you could benefit from this or send them a testimony, um, figure out what they're struggling with and say, Hey, just take a second to look at this. Um, if you think this is something you'd like to try, let me know and I can help you get started. And then, you know, when you do reach out to those people, you really want to be intentional about starting a conversation first. That's something that I've really found um, is, you know, how you'll, you'll start conversations with people in terms of talking to them about Plexus. If you kind of jump in and you sent them a text or sent them an email and said, hey, I want to tell you about Plexus. Sure, you know, it might work for some people, but there's a lot of people that will just ignore it and say, oh, you know, this is just another one of my friends that's doing the whole network marketing gig, um, is trying to pull me into something. That is what I think I have encountered a lot, um, and which is why I, I try to start a conversation. So, you know, reach out to them and say, hey, Sarah, how are you doing? Um, what's new in your world? What's going on with you and your kids? What's going on with your family? Are y'all doing anything fun this summer? What kind of camps are your kids doing? Really just start a relationship. And that could sound weird, especially if some of these people you're trying to reach out to are your best friends, but establish that relationship before you try to reach out and say, hey, I wanna tell you about this thing I've been doing called Plexus. It's really, really awesome. Um, and once you establish that relationship, then start talking about Plexus. Make it a natural thing, don't make it a forced thing. And that's something that I've really, really found um, has been beneficial. The next thing I would uh, recommend to y'all is to watch those jewel uh, testimonies and documentaries. Watch those diamond documentaries. Emily's diamond documentary is absolutely phenomenal. If y'all haven't watched that yet, definitely, definitely do that. I'm pretty sure it's on the RT um, Plexus page. You can even just YouTube those, just YouTube Plexus Diamond Documentaries or Plexus Testimonies. You'll find so much stuff um, out there on the internet, on YouTube, videos. And when you find those videos, you can then send those um, to friends and family, you know, who might be on the fence about trying Plexus. Um, you know, say you have, say your dad has struggled with arthritis for a while and you find a couple of testimonies of people who have been taking Plexus and it's helped them with their joint pain. You could say, hey dad, here's this video, watch it, this person struggled with joint pain and they've been able to get a little relief by taking Plexus, something like that. Um, those testimonies, watching those diamond documentaries and the testimonies really, really, really go a long way. And then going off that, my final tip would be to share your testimony. People absolutely love 
hearing how Plexus has helped you. I know personally, I think that's actually how um, the only time that people have really reached out to me is when I put my, my story out there on Facebook. And I've done it a few times. Um, just talked about my, my stomach problems that I've had since I was little, um, how I never was able to find anything that really helped, how doctors couldn't ever pinpoint a certain food. I tried, I don't even know how many probiotics on the market, um, and none of them helped. And I talked about how Plexus really, really helped me and how it was the first thing that really I was able to get relief from. And people really like that because you don't know what, you know, some of your friends or family members are going through because they're not, people don't talk about it that much. They don't talk about, you know, their stomach problems or their chronic headaches or, you know, anything like that. So put your story out there. People will reach out to you. You know, you're reaching out to them by posting it and in turn, they will reach out to you and they love hearing your story. Um, so those are my kind of like five little tips. So I hope that y'all can benefit from that. Um, I hope that this Zoom call has been helpful, and I'm going to turn it back over to Emily now. Hey, everybody. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I have learned a lot tonight. I'm super excited about these tips and tricks and basically the ultimate success to silver and, and the guide to silver. So if you implement these things, if you take them to heart and you put some action behind those thoughts, I think I will see a lot of silver promotions here soon. One more thing that I would like to add that I didn't hear mentioned was when your welcome pack arrives, you get a success kit and it is named and branded success kit for a reason. You guys full of success tips straight from the top, straight from the Plexus jewels. They helped put this kit together with booklets and a checklist and things for you to be the best ambassador possible. So get out those success kits. <laughs> Yeah, and that that right there is that's one plexus plexus freedom to be able to do a zoom call with your baby so get out those success kits go through them call your upline and and be the best ambassador that you can be be intentional and be a goal digger go after the big scary goals and watch how quick silver happens thanks for joining us you guys until next time